nose pieces for masks. Most of them are too thin for me and the pipe cleaners, you know, lose their shape. So I went to Home Depot and bought me a 50 foot roll of household electrical wire. It's the solid copper type. I thought 50 feet, I'll never use that. Well, you can see where I'm at with that. Uh, for me, I cut off two and three quarter inches like this and I leave the insulation on it. Get you a pair of needle nose pliers. Every woman has these in her toolkit. Squeeze pretty darn hard and bend that over almost all the way and take and squeeze that down to where it looks like that. And it's up a little, you can take and bend that, make it a little straighter. Do the same thing on the other end, taking care to have them the same direction. Squeeze that. I didn't squeeze quite tight enough. There we go. Squeeze that down. And even if that insulation kind of rattles loose on there, that's okay. And what you want to do is you want to be sure that your uh, wires, let me move that, are bent the same direction. And this is just to keep it from poking holes in your fabric. You don't want one to be bent up and the other to be down. You want them to go the same direction. Okay, so this is a practice bandana style mask I've been working on. I took a template off of another one. Uh, this is an old pillowcase I had. I did a 5 8 seam allowance here. This is the part that goes this way. I centered this in there. I put a seam here and a seam here. And then I ran a, my zipper foot and ran a seam this direction. And this works quite well. The reason I make it so short is when I had tried the longer ones, they come down onto my cheeks. And when I smile, which I hope I do a lot, or talking, it's moving it around on my nose and uh, taking it off of my face. This, you know, the length you'll have to adjust for yourself or whatever your preference is. Okay, that's my thought for today.